But uh, Bob is a very, very funny man, and uh, and uh, I, I go often go in the booth with him, you know. Oh, sure. So uh, one time we were there, <laughs> and uh, John Fogarty was in the mm -hmm. audience. Mm -hmm. You know, a fortunate son, you know. So uh, John Fogarty was there. So Bob Euchre is a very uh, interesting guy. He thinks of everybody as the same. He doesn't think of people as stars or anything like that. He's a very down-to-earth yeah. guy. So uh, he was talking to me, and he says, Hey, man, you know that guy? I go, yeah. He goes, that's uh, John Fogarty, rock and roll singer. So I go, yeah. I go, yeah, yeah. I know who it is. He goes, yeah, man. He goes, uh, but I played in a golf tournament with him. He goes, you probably think of him as some f that likes to bite the heads off of chickens, but uh, <laughs> this guy can. Uh, that's exactly how I think of him. This guy can get it out of the sand trap like nobody's. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so he goes, he's got a hell of a set of pipes on him. Huh? He goes, uh, uh, come the seventh inning stretch, I'll have him up here. He'll sing for you. <laughs> so I said, no, no, Bob, don't do that. Like, don't have him come up and sing yeah. for me, please, you know. He goes, what's matter, man? Don't you even know who he is? He got all mad. <laughs> so I go, yes, Bob, I know who he is. He did Creedence Clearwater sure. Revival. Yeah. He goes, yeah, he did all that. <laughs> Now, Norm, I remember uh, years ago you told me that you were there for the birth of your son, and I always remember this. And you said that was the most exciting thing you had ever participated in. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. And then, and then what happened? I took crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, you, no, you didn't. <laughs> no. I didn't know what you were getting. No, that's right. No, and then, and then you said a couple of weeks later you went skydiving. Oh, was that it? Yeah, that was what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and or hang gliding, hang gliding. Uh -huh. Yeah, hang gliding. And how was that compared to the the birth? <laughs> it was. This was a joke. I did yeah, at this, one point. I, I have to do your act for you now. Is that what it's come to? And you said that was much more exciting than the birth. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what <laughs> was. Congratulations, I'm very happy. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. Is he, and, and at the time, <laughs> at the time, I think I was more upset than you were, and now, now that you're back on top, I feel like I'm happier than you are. <laughs> I feel like I care more about your career than you do. Is that possible? Well, I like, uh, uh, mostly I like watching TV. <laughs> Did you, uh, did you like watching TV? You had your hands full last night with the Academy Awards. You had four hours there. Did you, yeah, did you get yeah. to see any of that? Well, I watched it all. I don't know the uh, movies this year, you know? The nominees? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't see it. The only movie I saw was the Life is Beautiful movie. Oh, Roberto Benigni. Because I love Roberto Benigni. Pretty <laughs> entertaining. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I'd never seen him in a movie. The only time I'd ever seen him was on your show, and he was always real funny. Yep. And so I went to that, show, that movie. It was in Life is Beautiful. And I'll tell you something about that movie. It's, it might be a great movie and everything, but it's got a huge drawback. None of the characters speak English. <laughs> you know? And yeah. for me, a person who only, it's the only language I understand uh -huh. is English. Exactly. You see? So I'm screwed. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and then, of course, the, and then the title is English. They fool you, you know? Yeah, so oh, yeah. Life is beautiful. Those are all in three English words. Yeah, there right? you go. <laughs> So I wouldn't have gone if it was like, amore, da more, more, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> he says, I really like you on the show there, Fred. He calls me Fred. Fred. Yeah. So he recognized me, but he thought Doesn't my name was name. Fred. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I figured, what the hell, it's a name, Fred, right? And so I go, yeah, thanks a lot. I don't want to go, hey, I'm not Fred, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I go, yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. He goes, yeah, you're good, Fred. Keep saying it, you know? <laughs> so I go, thanks, man, thanks, that's good. No, I like you, Fred, he says to me. I go, yeah, okay, I got the idea. So uh, uh, I just keep talking to him. So then this other character comes out of the bathroom. You know, he had to go to the bathroom. And he's walking down the, the airplane uh, aisle. And he sees me. He says, hey, you're that guy from the, the, the show. And I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, what's your name? You know, so I go, uh, it's Fred. You know, it's Fred. I can't. You, know? you don't want to upset the other guy. Right, I don't want to. The rest of, you can explain it. Yeah. yeah so well, the guy goes, yeah. Uh, he has a funny look on his face, right? He goes, yeah, well, what's your last name? So I go, I don't want to say McDonald in case yeah. the guy goes, 
No, it's Norm McDonald. Yeah, that's then right. it might be a tip off. Yeah, for him, sure. So I go, Fred uh, uh, F Kendall. I say Kendall. <laughs> Fred Kendall. Yeah, I just came out with Kendall. <laughs> so the guy goes, uh, Yeah, that's right, Fred Kendall. <laughs> and uh, then a couple weeks later, uh, I get a call, and it's Bill Cosby oh. on the phone. And he's like, I phoned the number! <laughs> and he was so sweet, like, yeah. he'd actually phoned my yeah. father's number. Like, what a great man, you know? Oh, man. And he said, the man does not live with the number. <laughs> the man answered, and not your father, you know? So I'm like, uh, oh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you know? Because I couldn't go, oh, yeah, I forgot, he's been dead 10 years. Yeah. So I was, like, freaked out, you know? And so uh, I phoned up, I panic, I phoned up 911, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just for people. It turns out that's just for people. Yeah, but it's not, it's not a bad thing, you know, off the top of your head. That's not a bad thing. So uh, I even said, what's the one for the cat? Cats, you know, what's yeah. the number? And then the woman goes, look, get off the phone, we'll call you. Know? So... <laughs> So every guy, it would be like he would use me as, as like the butt of the joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, the guy would be going, okay, uh, you know, they have a mic there in their hands. Oh, that's what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you, Norm. Thank you. And what, what would this be? Would this be a phone? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Sometimes this isn't a mic. <laughs> it's not my joke. But... So, uh, uh, the well, guy... should have loved that in Canada, for everything. <laughs> I should have used that. I wasn't that savvy at that point. But, uh, uh, so the guy's up there, he's got the mic, you know, and he goes like, he's using me, everybody, you know, it would be going like, uh, okay, folks, here's the joke. Hey, what's your name again? Norm. There's this fruit, Norm, you know, and they get a big laugh. And, uh, so, and, uh, I was reading, I don't know if you read the cover of Time magazine, mm -hmm. But they got a, the cover this week is a lady saying, uh, I'm gay. Yeah. That's Ellen DeGeneres, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. But that's got to be a slow news week. A lady saying she's gay. That's a big story. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And, uh, but, but <laughs> it's, it's brave of her, though. You know, it's yeah, brave. Yeah. It's brave it of her. It's a great deal of personal courage. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, they, I read just uh, this morning that Richard Simmons now, mm -hmm. to take it even further, he now is uh, making a statement that he's really, really, really gay. <laughs> wow, yeah. now, that's news. Yeah. To me, that ought to be on the cover. <laughs> yeah, he got burned. Uh, yeah, they, they said that this guy, Don Olmeyer, who turns out to be the president. Yeah, now I know Don Olmeyer, and yeah. just between you and me, he's an idiot. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. So I wouldn't take it seriously. If this guy fired you, you may still have a job. You never know. I'd wait for some paperwork. No, I, I phoned him, you know. Uh -huh. Oh, you had to phone You had to phone in to pick up your messages yeah. from the... Oh, man. Yeah, so I said, hey, you don't know what to say. You're like, hey, how's it going there? You know, you're trying to talk about something else. Yeah. Did you have a turkey there for the thing or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> and then, uh, so he goes, uh, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I'm firing you there from the show. And then I, I said... Uh, Oh, that's not good. <laughs> you know? And then I said, "Why is that now?" And he goes, uh, "Oh, you're not, you know, you're not funny." Yeah. And then I said, uh, "I said, oh, Lord, that's even worse news, you know." <laughs> he goes, "No, I don't got nothing to fall back on." No. Uh, he's a good man. Well, he just fired you. What do you mean he's a good? What is wrong with you, you Quizzling? Stop that! <laughs> I don't know what Quizzling means, uh. but. But, uh, I mean, to me, like, you know, you have to be philosophical about these things. I mean, at first, like, when I found out, you know, I was upset. But then, you know, I, uh, I really started to, I started to think about it, you know, and plus I drank a lot of whiskey. And I, and then Took afterwards, the off it a little, I'm yeah, guessing. I just yeah. thought, ah, like that. <laughs> but then the next day I sobered up and I remembered, uh, you know, that uh, I still had some whiskey left. <laughs> You're the damn quarterback, Norm. You're the one who punches it over the goal line for pay dirt.
So now, well, I mean, if you, Mr. You, Big Shot Cologne and Cufflinks, Don Olmeyer, <laughs> if he says, we don't want you on the weekend update, I'd adios. You'd I'd get, get in the cab. Absolutely. Hit the dirt. Come on over here to CBS. We'll get you a nice show. <laughs> we'll put you, we'll put you together. A nice show for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're no quizzling. <laughs> I never, I've never been called that. Um, <laughs> well, now will you stay on the on the rest of the show? Yeah, I'm gonna stay. Like I do. Also, uh, other than doing an update, I do like sketches, but like I stink in those. <laughs> so, uh, that, <laughs> so you know, people come up to you and go, "Oh man, I'm sorry," and then. Uh, either they, they're sorry or they're not sorry. Yeah, that's right. So how the hell do you know? No, you don't really yeah. know. But you can tell. Well, you... sometimes you can tell, like, you walk into a room and then everybody will stop talking. Mm -hmm. And then so you go, hey, were you just talking about how you were glad I got fired from the update? <laughs> and they go, no, no, we were talking about uh, hats. <laughs> But now, let me go back to this, and I don't want to embarrass you again, but if, if Lorne Michaels, the guy who created the show, the guy who's kept the show in business all these years, yeah. it's his show. Mr. Big Shot, Mr. Table at Orso's, Lorne yeah. Michaels, why doesn't he step in? Why doesn't he throw himself in front of this gorilla to save your job? What's going on there? With that? It sounds to me like he's a quizzling. He is? <laughs> well, that's what it sounds like. Maybe we can get a dictionary at the break. <laughs> But, uh, but you know what I'm saying? This is the guy. Didn't Lauren Michaels hire you? Yes, he did. Well, then who ought to be able to fire you? Lauren Michaels, right? so right? where was he? Did he fire you? No, he didn't fire him. But he's like your buddy, right? Your buddies with Lauren. Yeah, he's, he's a good man. And now, he's what did he say to you? been very supportive of him. Well, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did he say to you? He said to me, he says to me, he says... <laughs> He said, look, Norm, this is the deal. You know? <laughs> he said, I want you to stay on as Weekend Update. Oh, good. Well, dude. there you go. Well, great. So you got the job back. That's good news. <laughs> Attaboy, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Norm MacDonald is here from Saturday Night Live. Peter Wilson from uh, La Femme Nikita Streb. You ever seen these Streb people? Oh, they're great. They're going to change your life. What do you got there, Norm? You looked up Quizzling. Yeah, I looked up yeah, Quizzling. Yeah. And also, there's. do you know what Quizmaster means? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be like Alex Trebek. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I knew that. No, Quizzling is a master of ceremonies on a game show. <laughs> there you go. No. Now, Quizzling is a traitor who serves as the puppet of the enemy occupying his go. country. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. <laughs> Norm you know, MacDonald, you, know, you, sir, are no quizzling. I thought I was dumb when I didn't know what quizzling was. Yeah. I think I'm even dumber now because I still don't know what uh, it is. <laughs> but now, Norm, a couple of things come to mind here. This seems so preposterous to me, so unfathomable, so unreasonable that I'm guessing, oh, it's like a stunt, like a publicity stunt, like big time wrestling or something. Is that that kind of deal? Where you and Don Olmeyer will have, have a feud and you'll, you'll wrestle on the show or something for your job, one of those deals? <laughs> no, no, I like Don Olmeyer. Oh, no, how can you like... This weasel fired you! <laughs> no, but he doesn't think I'm funny. And yet you like the man. Sure, I, don't, I mean, you know? Here's, here's what. <laughs> a lot of people don't think I'm funny. Enjoy your complimentary beverage. Now, <laughs> tomorrow night... It ain't whiskey, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a great song. Now, tomorrow night... <laughs> Tomorrow night, come back on the show, or Friday night, come back on the show and do Weekend Update. You can do Weekend Update here. You, you can be the Weekend Update guy on this show. That'd be great. Well, there you go. <laughs> now, who's, who's taking your place on the Weekend Update? I don't know. Apparently, they had some press release today. But I don't, I don't read the papers, which is... Well, that wasn't good, either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, not, not if you're in charge of Weekend Update. Yeah. to just blatantly admit that you don't know what's going on. I did too many Nixon jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you who's taking your place. Nobody can take your place, Norm uh, McDonald. Uh, That's what I think. <laughs> you don't seem to be taking this too hard. You seem to be taking it pretty well. Well, I mean, I don't know, because uh, if, so if somebody doesn't like you, 
than the, and they uh, own the joint, you know, that's fine. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Why would you want to work in that atmosphere? Why wouldn't you want to take a hike and say, well, I'll show you. I'll take my little weekend update someplace else and bury you punks. I don't know. I guess I'm a damn quizzling or something. <laughs> Laura, geez, I hope you land on your feet. I think you're going to, but you're going to be in part of the show anyway, right? Yeah, I'll be doing, yeah. you know, I know. things. Yeah. I'll be, you know, now I so find The hilarious out. impression of me, you'll be doing that, I guess. <laughs> no, I Why didn't they that. fire that? <laughs> <laughs> what they do is they, uh, they, now they're saying, oh, we'll put you in a whole bunch of sketches, which I don't want to be in, because of course. then they're like, here, you're the scientist, and uh, uh, you, you, uh, t you're the scientist in charge of Monkey Boy or some <laughs> damn thing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then uh, I'm like running in going, hey, uh, cheerleaders, what's going on? I, uh, I haven't seen Monkey Boy. And I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how to that ain't, that ain't a bad sketch, though, Norm. <laughs>